Hello friends. I am happy to announce that we learned how to jump and that the new version of Otterig HDA is now available on Gumroad. It comes with numerous bug fixes and new features. Firstly, let's check how it worked before. It doesn't look so good if we have a ramp on our ground. In the new version, we have a jump folder where we can enable jumps by switching the toggle build jump trajectories. Basically, it uses a ballistic path node to build the jump trajectories. It will construct a ballistic path in each frame based on the direction of the velocity vector and the length of this vector. Additional parameters are included to filter out unwanted ballistic curves, such as those angled excessively high or low, or based on the length of the curve. In this case, I used a delete curve by bound object. Bear in mind that this process is entirely reliant on your animation curve, not a simulation. Adjusting settings such as mass and drag allows you to fine-tune the jump trajectories. If you observe the car's wheels sinking into the body after a jump, the limit setting in the suspension folder can be adjusted. This parameter is designed to restrict the extent of suspension movement. I set up the parameter to animate, ensuring that once the jump concludes, the suspension reverts to its standard setting. We now have the capability to store preferred animations as clip files on the disk, a valuable addition for maintaining different versions. The Collision Builder is my preferred feature, presents two methods, convex and vellum-based. Vellum, being the more dependable option, necessitates a pre-simulation of 20 frames, which might take around 30 seconds. After this process, the initial car collision data can be stored on the disk, ensuring it aligns with the car's animated motion and velocity attribute. Collision functionality becomes necessary for interacting our car with effects like RBD water or smoke. I was planning to record a new tutorial for dust slash smoke simulation, but it eventually evolved into a new HDA which works with Autorid. I called it AutoDust. To conduct the simulation, it's essential to specify both the smoke source and the VDB collisions. Within the tool, source generation is managed by the left branch, whereas the right branch is tasked with the creation of collision fields. In this case, I use the GPU Axiom Solver, but there is also a version with the standard Houdini Solver. Essentially, all that's required is to link our car to Autodust and then proceed to cache out both the source and collisions. The tool will copy source particles underneath each given wheel with a bit of randomization. Scale control available. Once the source and collisions are catched out, we can switch the display to dust and begin simulating the dust effects. Not bad. Let's write it on a disk. I deliberately included only a few primary parameters at the top of the HDA. Start frame, smoke resolution, and catching options. Considering each shot may have unique requirements, you are encouraged to delve into the tool and adjust settings such as turbulence, wind, dissipation, etc. in conjunction with the source particles. Thanks for watching.